All righty, Daniel, thank you so much. Well, when it comes to financial planning, success lies in the details. And unfortunately, small moves and errors can have a significant impact on your future. That's why it's important to get your financial plan on a solid track by avoiding some mistakes. So what should young professionals look out for so they can stay on the right path? Joining us this morning with those tips is certified financial planner, Jana Morrison. Jana, thank you so much for stopping oh, by. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. Listen, we have to talk about those mistakes that hopefully we can avoid. And there's a couple of them. One I think is really important is not setting a goal. I feel like everyone should set a goal at this point, right? Right. It's hard though when you first get out of college and True. you just start working because you're finally getting a, a job so you're finally yeah. earning some money so you want to spend a little bit <laughs> um, but you have to think about the big picture mm -hmm. you know what is important to you and it may be different than what's important to your friends you know do you want to uh, set aside money for a big house do you want to think about early retirement do you want to save maybe you want to travel so you just yeah. have to uh, determine what's important to you not only that also with your budget too exactly and some people hate the word budget because it, it's sort of like the word diet you know it's kind of restrictive <laughs> yeah. and so but it really you think about it like just a financial a spending plan mm -hmm. because you you write down what you have you know you want to know what you have to spend yeah. and then you come up with um, ideas of how, how to use your money mm -hmm. and that, that's really all it is but then also too you have have to think about those bigger goals you talked about your house and then also with student loans with some yes. students having to deal with that as well so that's right there comes the budget word again that's right now student loans you have to be really that you really do want to be careful with them because mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know sometimes there's uh, federal loans and private loans okay. and a lot of times you think about consolidating your debt but with rising interest rates it may be, not be a good time for that. And also, you shut down some options that you may have with federal debt. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we hear about debt forgiveness and the possibility of debt forgiveness. Right. And there's also a public service forgiveness program so that if you work for a nonprofit like a hospital, mm -hmm. a college, a police, a police department, something like that, you can actually apply now to have your debt forgiven after you've made payments for like 10 years. Okay. And so, but it's only with federal debt. So it's mm -hmm. very, 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 very important not yeah. to combine those two. Yeah, that's really important to make mm -hmm. sure that you're not also confusing the two. Exactly, well too. that's right. One thing that I also found was really interesting, this mistake, don't compare yourself to other people on social media. That's right, and, and that's so important and so easy to do. Yeah, I mean, so um, many people do it now. That's right, because you may see your friends going to Italy, you know, I mean, what a, what a wonderful trip. I've never been to Italy. Um, but you may see them, and everybody shows the best. They don't show like the, the hard work or whatever it took to get there because they could be on they could be in debt. Yep. Um, but what you want to do is just focus on your goals. Back to that step number one. Yeah. Focus on your goals and then just try not to compare yourself to others. Yeah. You don't have to. That's it's right. It's your decision. Exactly. It's your life, and you are going to make it work how you yes, want to make it work. Ex exactly. Don't judge. No, no, no judging. No judging. I no judging. It. Janet, thank you so yeah. much for stopping thank by. You Those so are much, some Christy. really, really good tips there good, too. Good, good. I'm glad. And we're going to put help. these, yeah, of course. And we're going to be putting these on our YouTube page as well so you can always come back to it uh, so you can get all of those financial mistakes that you can definitely avoid, especially those young professionals.